Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your favorite internet sensation, Yomi Adu, the CEO of Fair of Travels and Tours. In this channel, I do talk about African countries. I talk about tours within Africa. I, talk, I also talk about businesses that one can do here in Africa. If what you need is all about Africa, I think this is the channel that is actually meant for you. In case you want me to come to your country, I mean your country here in Africa, please feel free to chat with me and I will gladly respond to your chat. There is a calling for Africans in Africa and also Africans outside the continent of Africa to showcase what we have in Africa to the outside world. The other time, I was watching uh, a video on the internet and I had when some young folks, I think they are Europeans, when they were saying, somebody asked them a question that, what is the capital of Africa? I was surprised when the person mentioned Kenya and said, Kenya is the capital of Africa. I was like, what is happening here? This is ridiculous. It means they don't know much about our continent. We need to tell them so much about our continent. But first and foremost, we ourselves need to know so much about our continent. Now, look at it. There are 54 countries here in Africa. And all the 54 countries, we spend 42 currencies. You see? So these are, the, so, these are some of the things that we need to know as Africans before people outside Africa or uh, non-Africans can begin to understand our continent. You know, in the time past, you always see Africa as uh, a place where there are so many diseases, a place where there is starvation, a place where hunger kills little children on the streets, a place where there's always war. You understand? We need to change that narrative. Africa is no longer like that. You understand? So we need to understand Africa. Then we will be able to portray Africa properly to the outside world. Now, what video do I have today? I want to talk about the 10 richest countries in Africa in 2024. The 10 richest countries here in Africa in 2024. So tell your friends, tell the people outside there, especially those who are not Africans, that Africa is rich. Okay, guys, without further ado, I want to dive into this topic. That is the 10 richest countries in Africa, 2024. I'm going to be starting with the 10th one. That's number 10. Then I will drive you through to the first one, which means if you don't want to miss anything, you know, please stay glued to your TV, to your screen. Make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end. It is very, very important. And also I want you to do me a favor, get a pen, get a paper or your daughter because you need to take some notes down. As Africans, it is high time for the giants in us to rise up. It's not too late to tell the whole world what Africa is made of. A lot of YouTubers are doing that and I really, really appreciate it. I don't want to go into names. I don't want to be mentioning names, but they are doing fantastically well. They are doing well. So uh, please get your paper, get your pen. Let's go right now. The 10th richest country in Africa as of 2024 is the country of Tunisia. Tunisia is in the northern part of Africa, you know. The capital city of Tunisia is Tunis. And Tunisia has a population of 12.5 million. How do they make their money? How do they, you know, their currency, before I forget, their currency is Tunisian Dina. D-I-N-A-R. That is the currency they spend in Tunisia. And as we speak in 2024, April 2024, Tunisia has the strongest currency. They have the strongest currency, but that does not make them to be the richest country in Africa. They are number 10. How do they make their money? Number one, they make their money through tourism. In my last video, I talked about tourism, you know, uh, referring to what the country of Sierra Leone can do that can make us to step up in our game, as in, in, in for the economy to boom. I mentioned tourism. Tunisia makes a lot of money from tourism, so also agriculture and ma manufacturing. In fact, if you go to Tunisia, there are a lot of luxury homes that are quite affordable. So, because they want to entice the whole world, that is why they are making their money. 
a lot from tourism. Number nine is the country of South Africa. South Africa, as we all know, is in the southern part of Africa. They have three capitals, three. The first one is Pretoria. That is the administrative capital of South Africa, Pretoria. Okay. The second one is Cape Town. Cape Town is a legislative capital of South Africa. And the third one is Blue Fountain. Okay. Apologies if I, if I didn't pronounce it well. That is the judicial capital of South Africa. So three capitals, Pretoria, okay, Cape Town, and also Bloemfontein. All right. South Africa has a population of 61 million, 61 million. And the currency that they spend there is a famous South African rand. rand. That makes them to be the ninth or number nine richest country in Africa. How do they make their money? From tourism as well, just like Tunisia. From tourism, from manufacturing, you know. Number eight is Algeria. Algeria is also in the northern part of Africa. They have a population of 46.3 million. They make their money from oil and gas, okay? They have oil. So they, that's crude oil, petroleum. They make their money from oil and gas. So also, their currency is called Algerian dinner. That is how they became number eight, you know, from what they produce, from, from what they have. Their main source of money, income, is oil and gas. Number seven is another North African country. That is the country of Egypt. Egypt has a population of 114.5 million. And the capital city of Egypt, as we all know, is Cairo. Okay. How do they make their money? Yes, their currency is Egyptian pound. That is the money they spend, Egyptian pound. Okay. How do they make their money? From tourism. You can see tourism is coming here again. From tourism, from agriculture, you know. This is, then from manufacturing. This is how they make their money. What is happening? West Africa, I want to see you in this list. Whether they will be there or not, stay glued to this channel. Number six is a very small country. And that country is in the central, you know, Africa. It's the central region of Africa. I'm talking about the country of Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is in Central Africa, as I said, and they have a population of 1.8 million. It's a small country. 1.8 million. The capital is Malabo. Malabo. And the currency they spend there is CFA. You know, this uh, French money. CFA, that's what they spend there. They make their money from what? From oil. They have oil. They have three official languages. That, that's one of the reasons why I love this country. Uh, I think very, very soon uh, I will make a journey to Equatoria again. They have three official languages. Number one, the, the first one is Spanish. They speak Spanish there. So also French, making number two, and the third one is Portuguese. So they speak three official languages. Okay, guys, number five is another country in Central Africa. I mean, the country of Gabon. Gabon. The capital of Gabon is Libreville. It's a very small country also, but, you know, in terms of population, a little bit bigger than or more than uh, Equatorial Guinea. The population of Gabon is 2.5 million. They make their money also from oil. They have plenty of oil. They make their money from oil and their currency is CFA. Then the official language there is French. Number four. The fourth richest country in Africa is the country of Botswana. I love that country. Botswana is in the southern part of Africa. They spend what is called Pula. And their capital city is Gabroni. I tell you, Botswana is beautiful. What is the population of Botswana? 2.7 million. 2.7. And they make a lot of their money from diamond mining. Yes. From diamond mining one of the best in the world and the official language in Botswana is english the third richest country in africa 2024 is from the northern part of africa also they speak arabic that's the major language the official language is arabic it has a population of seven million seven million i'm talking about the country of libya they spend libyan dinar d-i-n-a-r okay just like algeria and tunisia just to spend dinner. 
they make their money from oil. You understand? They have several million in terms of population and the capital, as I said, is Tripoli. Sitting in the second position of the richest country in Africa, 2024, is the country of Mauritius. Mauritius. Mauritius is in the eastern part of Africa. The official language is Mauritius, uh, Mauritius Creole. And the money, the currency there is what? A uh, Mauritian rupee. The capital of that country is Port Louis. It is a destination for lovers. A lot of people go to Mauritius, you know. Ah, uh, maybe to go and enjoy their honeymoon. Okay, the capital is Port Louis, as I said, and the population. That's a small country, 1.3 million. Just 1.3 million. Okay. Mauritius is sitting on the second position. Now, we have seen countries from east, from the eastern part of Africa, from the southern part of Africa, from the northern, from the central. We haven't seen any country from the western part of Africa. So, West Africa, what is happening here? Okay, let me go to the last one, number one. One, that's the country sitting on the first position of the richest country in Africa 2024. We want to know whether it is our country and as in whether it is a country from a uh, western part of Africa. I'm from the west, you understand? So we want to see whether it is a country from the western part of Africa. If you enjoyed this video, please, I want you to give me likes. We are knowing about our continent Africa. We are you know, showcasing Africa to the world, let people know about Africa. If you want me to come to your country, please feel free to chat with me. I will rightly be there, okay? Um, so, I'll go to the first one. The first one is the country of Seychelles. Wow, Seychelles. Seychelles is in the eastern part of Africa. Hmm, that is wonderful. Seychelles. And they also spend uh, Seychelles rupee. You know, that's, that's the currency they spend there. And the capital city of Seychelles is Victoria. It is a very, very small country. From the country where I came from, I'm in Nigeria. The whole of that country is just like a street in my country. They have a population of 108,000. 108, 108,000. And, you know, they have official languages. I can't really pronounce it, so I have to check my notes. Uh, uh, Seychelles is Creole. That's the language. Then they also speak English and French. They make their money from tourism. Have you learned something today about Africa? Please, I want you to share this video. Especially if you have friends who are non-Africans. If your friends are not from Africa, please share this video with them. Let them know that we have rich countries in Africa. As I said in the introduction, there are 54 countries in Africa, and Africa is a continent, so it doesn't have a capital. Kenya is not the capital of uh, Africa, neither is in Nigeria, you understand? So there are 54 countries in Africa, and all together, we use 42 currencies. So guys, till I come your way again, uh, I remain ever sincerely yours, Yomiadu. Keep watching Arab Travels and Tours, and I will keep bringing things, stories about Africa, businesses and also thoughts within Africa.